I already filmed this video, but I decided to restart it because my camera battery died and it like killed my whole flow and I didn't get through half of it. So I am back on YouTube because it's been a crazy, crazy month. Um, I got married on Saturday. Yay! I'm gonna insert some clips, some pictures. Um, these are not my professional ones because I don't have those back yet. But we had a really good time. We had a really relaxed wedding. We didn't do a ton of the traditional stuff. We just kept it really simple to the basics and everybody absolutely loved it. And I will give you guys a ring close up because I know everybody wants the ring close up usually. Yes, I have a bandaid on my hand because one day before we got married, I decided to um, basically with a Ryobi glue gun, hot glue gun part of my hand off. So that wasn't so good and I did that by making my bouquet, which I will insert a picture of because it is all vintage costume jewelry pins. I made it myself and somebody gifted me this vintage depression glass holder for it and I'm really proud of it. All of the like silver tone ones that just have like boring rhinestones in them are um, like knockoffs from Hobby Lobby because I was short about like 10 pins so I had to go buy like a you know like a knockoff set there which I'm not mad about how it turned out. I don't think you could really tell when I was walking down the aisle either way and I wanted the mixed metals of the gold and the silver because I had mixed match of like vintage pins some were gold some were silver and I had more gold so it kind of like evened it out and it all worked out um so yeah I'm gonna have I'll share with you guys like my professional photos when I get them in in a separate video so I can talk a little bit more about our wedding day but this is just like meant to be like a little quick recap um I also had some vintage decorations that I did not get to take photos of I didn't get to do any filming myself obviously I don't even know why I thought I would have time for that and happen so I will share with you guys all of that through my professional photos because that's what I have available. <laughs> so yeah, so I have a thrift haul for you guys. So excited to be back in the swing of things. Sales have been great. Made some sales on my wedding day, which was exciting. Um, I think I had like four sales like on my wedding day, which was so cool. I did not shut down my eBay store, which was a little aggressive because Friday before our pre-wedding dinner, I was shipping. But you know, I needed money. Um, my eBay store, it was scaled back the past few months because I've just been so overwhelmed. Wedding planning is not for me. Um, I could not afford a wedding planner. It was just like a lot. It definitely like overwhelmed me. I just want to like be realistic with you guys. Like yeah, it wasn't for me. <laughs> so anyway, um, no, but everything went really good and I'm really happy that we did everything we did and let's get into the thrift haul. So first I want to discuss that thrift store prices today are scaring me. Um, they could very well really hurt my business especially in the winter when I rely on thrift stores. I don't rely on them as much in the summer but I still really like to thrift. It's something I personally enjoy. It actually like brings my anxiety down like me thrifting like actually is like a cure in itself. Um, So I like to physically go to the thrift store and look through things because I just don't really like sitting in a desk all day. So the Salvation Army in my area shorts have always been five dollars for like I don't know the past however many years um they're up to $7.99 right now or $6.99 for like whatever brands like brands we don't buy to resell and I can't like make a profit off that and I was looking at other things and they had like some antiques that I thought were cute and they were like $14.99 and uh, there was just like no resell um meat on the bone for anything that they were selling so I'm probably gonna stop going there which is really sad because one of my best finds ever I got there I got my um 70s uh, like Marvel character lot there for four bucks and I just like I mean that was a mistake obviously but I've gotten some other really good um hidden gems there and I am not gonna be able to like barely scratch the surface with a profit there anymore with what they're charging and I also think it's like kind of ridiculous that that's what they're charging to normal people too. Like $7 for you shorts is a lot for just like a brand that's not even a name brand. 
I think that's just like insane for anyone, not even resellers. And uh, some of you may say like resellers do that, but no, like that's insane for anyone. I'm sorry. Like I get like that we were going through inflation, but no, it's just too much. So I didn't buy anything there and then I went to um, my, like, I guess I would say my area is like local chain of thrift stores. It's not Goodwill, it's like Thrifty Shopper. So um, in New York State we have Thrifty Shoppers everywhere and I don't know, like, I got some stuff. So um, their prices, I would say, are slightly inflated but not on everything, which is good. So I picked up this Torrid New Attacks dress for $7.99 and I only picked it up because of the style and the fact that it's a 6X and it's New Attacks. This should do really well. Um, it did retail at $45 but I could probably get $30 bucks for it. So I'm definitely excited to have found this and I believe last year dresses in the summer were $7.99 so like no inflation there. I did see some inflation on the pants, um, all American Eagle jeans and like ripped Hollister jeans were $9.99 which is too much to pay unless they're like maybe new with tags. You could have some good profit there just depending but a lot of you would even say no to that. Um, for me it would be worth it depending on style. So I did find some other jeans, um, Can Can for $7.99 which I believe is like the normal price their jeans are. They've always been $8 on jeans so I found Can Can. Um, they are green, which is not probably like the hottest color in the world, but they're really cute for fall and Can Can's a great brand. I always do really well with it. So I don't know how these are going to do, but I figured they're in really nice condition and for fall they're going to sell. I mean, I'm going to list them now, but if they don't sell this summer, like I know I'll make money on these. I also want to disclose that I had a coupon. Um, if I spent $25, I got $5 off. So that was, it's not huge, but it's helpful. So these I picked up to hit that and I think I might have just like hit it before but these I took a chance on. These are Kendall and Kylie, um, the Icon High Rise Straight. I picked them up because they were high rise and they're just like a nice medium wash jean which is really in right now. Um, straight leg, you know, they're not skinny. You want to be looking for the straight legs, the boot cuts, no stains, no flaws. They're size 8 so these were $7.99. I'd morally like to be at like 5 bucks for Kendall and Kylie jeans. But I figured since I had the coupon and there is inflation, maybe I can try to get like a list them like $2 higher to account for that $2 because they're good style. And all of this is like going to be for Poshmark. Um, I want to try to like get more back into Poshmark even though I'm really favoring eBay right now. But um, I definitely want, I don't want to close my closet if that makes sense. I want it to be available. The next thing I got, um, and again I would have only got this because of like the coupon and the size. I wouldn't have bought this like otherwise. This is a Who What Wear New With Tags Double XL Target shirt and it's just so cute with the cheetah print and I've been seeing that for like plus size stuff and larger sizes Target New With Tags um, is doing um, good right now. Not like good but like you can sell it for you know if you can pick it up for five dollars or under you can probably make a profit on it. So I would not pick up Target in most cases but because this checked all those boxes between like being a light Thing for summer you know it's new tags and the size I picked it up I can probably double my money on it it's not gonna be crazy all right so then I dived into records which is not my forte um the first thing I picked up that's probably a miss is this sealed um three record like there's three records in here it's JS Bach keyboard music Martin calling harpsichord so I think because it's this Martin calling guy the value is not that great on it but um, it's brand new so I got it for a dollar so I'm going to sell it for 10 if it's nothing because I think it's worth 10 at least. Um, there's also none listed on eBay so maybe it's better. The next thing I picked up and I think this is good maybe because I think we've sold it before on my cousin's store. I don't like list a lot of the vinyl on there. Um, my friend does and they kind of do that venture together. I don't really have anything to do with it other than ship it out. Um, I believe I saw this one where shipping it's Neil Diamond Stones uh, because it has this really cool way to open the record and the record itself is in good condition like it's playable. Um, I am going to test it because I do have a functional record player now. Uh, it's just like one actually that was broken that my friend repaired for me that I had in my basement so that was really nice so no cost to me on a record player and it's a really nice one actually. Um, it goes for about $500 on eBay so now that it's repaired it's even more exciting. So 
I don't know. I think I can get at least 10 bucks for this. There is some packaging um, defects, but I can't remember if this sold what we sold it for. And then I picked this up, and this has to be at least a $10 record in my opinion, is this Three Dog Night. Look at the cover art. It has like the band-aid, and it's really cool, and the inside's awesome too with like the way they all go around here. The record is right. I did check it. It's in, it's playable condition. Um, there is some damaging to the packaging. Um, but I don't know, again, for a dollar, at least I know at the antique show I can get $5 a record if they're like a decent title, a decent condition. So I'm not ever going to lose money on any of this, but I definitely would never pay more than a dollar for a record unless it was like Kiss or, you know, something like, you know, the really rare Andy Warhol one. I know what to look for a little bit in terms of value, but yeah, um, in terms of like $10 records, I never really want to be more than a dollar. So yeah, that's everything I thrifted. Now we're going to go on to what sold. Oh, I just got an offer on something that I really like and I don't want to sell, but the offer is a good one. So I'm going to accept it. And I'll show you guys that first since it's a live sale. Um, this is a vintage hobnail basket. I do personally collect hobnail stuff. I have like a little collection over on my shelf over there. Um, but this one's like the milk glass clear one. So it's not as sought after. So it was, um, Fenton did make most of these and this could have been Fenton, but the tag was taken off if it was Fenton. And it had one little imperfection from a manufacturer's defect in the glass, not anything anybody broke. So I put Fenton question mark because honestly the tag does raise the value so we didn't have the tag so I don't know you know the value was down I paid I think $2.99 and I just sold it for $10 plus shipping which is just doubling my money but I've had it on eBay for a year so it is what it is all right so that sold just now cool 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 so let's go to what sold I'm gonna do from last Tuesday to this Tuesday just to give you guys a full week of sales and keep in mind I got married so I wasn't really doing much with eBay, as I'm sure you can understand. So the first thing that sold, this was disappointing. This was the Mattel Hart family, a lot of Disneyland kids on parade. I got this on a Facebook marketplace buy, and this was disappointing because I had hoped it would be a $150 bundle, but I sent it to auction and it sold for $69 plus shipping, and you just have to be careful with that. There was some additional problems that I found out there was a smell to all her dolls. Um, I've mentioned this in the past video. So the stuff that I just got from her, my third and fourth buy, they were in like three days of each other. They reeked. Seriously reeked. So the last doll that I needed, because she shorted me one of these dolls before, it wasn't her fault. She's got mixed up. She gave to me during the third buy and the stuff just like, it reeked so bad of like cat pee, like that would be sitting in an attic. So I basically lost, I didn't lose money. I had to sell all of her stuff like basically at cost because it made my office smell so bad. I do have some stuff left. Um, I have broken completely even on my third and fourth buy with her. But, and I didn't want to break even, but I had to. Like this stuff reeked. I did cleaning treatments to it. And my, my second buy with her, I did some cleaning treatments and they worked and all the odor came out. Um, we can go into detail in that in a different video, but this odor was just unbearable and the few things that are left even smell. So I, I'm probably not going to be able to do, I think I have two more buys to do with her and I don't think I'm going to be doing them. And that's no disrespect to her. It's just, it's not going to happen. Um, the only thing I want to go back for a buy for, and this is going back like a couple weeks. I didn't get to share with this on video because I was busy. Um, this is a good sale though, so I'll try not to get on too much of a tangent. This is a really good sale. This was, um, a lot of 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Bride of Frankenstein April, which is super rare. If the card had been perfect, I think you could get $125 for this alone. Um, and then she had some other ones, so the cards were not, like, in perfect collector's condition, and I got, I just listed them for $150. They are not all big money. It's mostly like the Bride of Frankenstein. So I think I put mine at a value of like $90, like another, the Krang was like a $10 item. And then the other two Aprils were like $30 a piece. So this person did get a little bit of a deal, but again, there was some like, the cards were not what you're paying for to get those prices. But I sold this for $150 plus shipping. So that was awesome. So she has more of that stuff. I'd want to go back because even in bad condition, it's good money. Okay, the next thing that sold, not really super exciting, but 2000 Digimon, 
of different figures sold for $20 free shipping they were played with condition um the cat one can go for $20 alone if it's in good condition and still talking mine was but I just wanted to do a lot and get this out the door I don't have any costs into it it was from a bulk buy that me and my cousin did and we are well into the profit on it so I just needed it out the door it's been listed for quite some time the next thing I sold this was from my Facebook marketplace buy Barbie lot of free three Pepsi Barbie President Barbie and Ice Capades from the 90s. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. That That's on par. So the next thing I sold finally is this Bowden Women's Six Petite Louise textured dress. This sold for $20 plus shipping. I've had this for a year now. Um, it was new with tags. It's the petite that hurt me. So I'm basically doubling my money, a little bit more than doubling my money on this. So I just said, you know what, out the door, I'm happy with it. It's been a year, at least I'm making a profit. The next thing I sold was like a bad buy on my part. This was a grab bag of some sums, um, Marvel, Care Bears, Hub Snap, Shopkins, all the little random mystery things. This was a grab bag I saw at the thrift store for $8 and um, I thought it would do good because I couldn't really tell what was in it. And the Marvel ones do like really good if you look them up on eBay. I didn't have as many Marvel ones in there as I originally thought. Um, and I sent this to auction and it just did $12.50 plus shipping. I just broke even on it. I didn't really make a profit. It is what it is. The next thing I sold, I've also had these up for a long time, are these Free People Women's Penny Pull-On Jeans. They were a size 25, which is a zero, so a bad size. These sold on Best Offer for $15 plus shipping. And if they were a larger size, they would have went for 30 But I just wanted them out the door. The next thing I sold was also from the Facebook Marketplace buy that I did. This was the Star Wars 1990s figures. These do not go for very much money, you guys. These were 19 figures. Um, the cards were like in poor condition. You know, the boxes were warped, whatever. They did smell. I sold for $89.99 plus shipping through Global Shipping Program. So I was happy with that because that was my full asking price on those. The next thing I sold are some patches that I picked up in a garage sale. These were all local central New York or like upper northern New York patches for Boy Scout and Cub Scouts. And these sold for $14 and free shipping on that. I paid $6 for a box of Boy Scout stuff. I still have four lots left and I'm already in the profit even with the free shipping alone on this. Um, it's not like a big profit but I have four lots left of stuff so can't go wrong there. And then I did sell this Rue stuffed animal for $12.99 plus shipping. This was a good buy. It was $0.99 cents at the thrift store. Then I sold this Mattel Barbie Happy Family Allen and Ryan set. This is the Ken that goes with like the first pregnant Barbie and he is really sought after and $67 is low for him but he reeks and I can't get the smell out. He's from the buy. So I took a bus offer of $67. I put that in the listing. Um, I had it listed at $75, so this was like fine with me. I mean, to a collector, you don't want that. So it, it really is going to hurt me on the price. But had he been not smelly, he's $99 all day long. The next thing that sold are some American Eagle High Rise Shorties, woman size 4, distressed. These sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Broke even on these. Had them for a while. They just, no interest, wouldn't sell. And then the next sale is also another item that I couldn't get rid of. This was a Yu-Gi-Oh! lot of three books. Um, sold for $8 plus shipping. I've done really well on anime books in the past, but these ones just, like, don't sell because they used to come with, like, little collector's cards and none of these had, like, the cards in them. I think that might be why. But, or you need, like, a more complete set, if that makes sense. But I'm so happy to see these out the door, you guys. I'm so happy things are selling that we're, we're sitting. Like, I'm happy. Next thing is another Star Wars lot of two Micro Machine Star Wars from the 90s. Again, there's not a lot of value here. The packaging was really bad on these. So I took a best offer of $12 plus shipping to just get them out the door. The next thing I sold is another thing that sat for a while. Lou and Gray woman's camel button down dress size small new with tags. I picked this up. I don't pick up fluff, but I've done well when it's new with tags. And this one just sat and sat and sat. So happy to have that out the door for $12 plus shipping. Still going to make a profit on that. And in terms of Poshmark, I did have a couple sales. So I'll just do that really, really fast. Um, in the past week, I did sell some Kendall and Kylie jeans. These were skinny ones. So again, I'm going to get a better value on the ones I just thrifted. These sold for $15 and Poshmark takes care of the shipping. And I was paid out $12. And I think I had like 
maybe seven dollars into these so again not big profit but I this was like when I had never picked up Kendall and Kylie before and then I learned that you know you need to be looking for kind of like the other keywords if that makes sense so I should do like at least 20 to 25 on these other ones I'm not mad about it though they were really cute jeans good test they were a good test piece and the last thing I sold is this Maeve Anthropology dress that I picked up a while ago. And it has been sitting and sitting and sitting. And this sold for $20. Again, Poshmark takes care of the shipping. I was paid out $14.28. I paid $7 for this, so I doubled my money. And I am okay with doubling my money on clothes because I don't expect to get big, big money. If I'm picking up five pieces at a time, you know, if I can double my money, I'm okay with that. If I'm picking up like 20 and I'm doubling my money, that's probably not a good investment of my time. But... If it's like quick sales on clothes and different things, like I don't mind doubling my money. And I and I know some people don't agree with that. But again, like if I'm picking up just a handful of things and I know it's going to sell, it's okay with me. So I'm like winded. That was like a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'm excited to see you guys more regularly on YouTube.